Has your primary puller lost some of its oomph? Is it slow to get started or does it sputter and stall? Maybe sometimes it just sits there. Sometimes that's happening to me, so I need your help. I'm wondering if I need to lube my loco. And you know what? If you're new to the hobby, you want to stick around and watch this video because I'm going to ask my friends to let us know what kind of lube you want to use for each scale, how to lube the loco, when to lube the loco. Stick around. This is going to be an important series for you coming up right now. Came in on a quick cutaway for an important announcement. It's Saturday morning, December 21st in the AM. I would like to wish happy birthday to my channel, the Denver and Rio Grande Western Iron Horse Route Model Railroad channel on YouTube. Happy birthday. You guys stick around to the end so I can tell you more about the anniversary video that's going to be coming out real soon. Now this video is for people who don't already know how or when to lube their locos, but if you do, I need for you to stick around. My accomplished my. modelers and returning subscribers don't go anywhere, because I'm going to need your advice and your input. I'm going to need your help. Hopefully, and some of you guys that are watching this video are brand new to the channel, so allow me to introduce myself. My name is Brian. Allow me to introduce my layout. This is the Denver and Rio Grande Western Iron Horse Route, and this is my model railroad channel. I want to encourage you, if you have not already, to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be alerted to future uploads. Video's coming up right now, y'all. Let's get to it. All right, if you've been following the channel, you know about three weeks ago I installed this modular helix over here. I brought it down and I put it in. Uh, we worked it out at about a 2.7% grade. And uh, so I just had to do some minor tweaking to it. Just wanted to make sure it was level because any imperfection in the level could have easily brought the grade up over three. Um, put it in, wasn't having any problems at all, really. Um, could use the A and B unit, was pulling 10 cars around without a whole lot of problem at all. Um, no derailment issues at all and I was noticing that I was able to keep it pretty consistent on the throttle and get around uh, without having any slips or stalls or anything like that. Over the course of the last three weeks though, I changed a couple things. Um, I added some cars as well as brought in a old A unit. I have another Kato F7A, um, so I was gonna have an ABA um, set up, which I do now. What I noticed is that even though that car ran, that loco, excuse me, ran pretty well um, by itself, I didn't see much, if any, improvement in the pull, um, in, in the behavior in the train. I wasn't able to slow the throttle down, um, that kind of thing. And a little bit of that could have been um, that I'm DC and I was pulling more power from the three locos. But I just in general wasn't seeing um, a lot of improvement from adding the other locomotive. Um, so I actually got to the point recently where um, it was stalling some, slipping, um, as well as I was having some trouble where I was having to increase the throttle a little more. And so I finally said, okay, let's figure out what's going on. And so I pulled all the cars off and I pulled the locos, put the locos on by themselves and ran them and did that for a little while and then I decided to take them apart and run them and that's where I identified an issue okay the newer the Kato unit the better it's running imagine that the less it's been in my hands the better that it's running okay the B unit I purchased last and it's running best then the A units that's not painted pink I purchased in the middle and the one that's pink now was the very first Kato that I ever got and what I have found in running them separately um, with them all on the same track is that the older the loco or the longer it's been in my hands or on my layout and in the train shed, um, the less efficient it's running. During the more stalling in certain areas and places, I did check the track throughout, y'all. I've, uh, I've got power is consistent and uniform throughout. And one of the things that I needed to consider was that it could be dirty wheels. I do run graphite, and that does help a lot. But it doesn't mean I don't ever need to clean the wheels on my Locos. Um, so I am going to try that, but I wanted to shoot this video first before I clean the wheels. Because one of the things that I really think I need to do, as I mentioned at the beginning of the, layout, uh, the video, is one of the things I really need to do is... I need to go ahead and lube these cotters, which I have not done at all, okay? And so what I'm asking from you guys 
is to let me know, you know, per each scale, what type of lube is the best lube to use, what you recommend, and then we're going to talk about, um, I'm going to get suggestions from you for how to lube it, where to look for resources on when to do it, and how often you should do it as well, you guys that have been in the hobby a lot longer than myself and anybody who's new that might be watching. All right, I've got the three locos on in the order that they were purchased, okay? And what I'm finding is that, you know, the front one, which was purchased last, runs a lot better, so we're not going to have any problems with them hitting each other. Then this one was purchased in the middle, so I have it in the middle, and this was purchased last. What I have found is that all three of them almost run identically if this one has been warmed up 15 or 20 laps maybe 10 and if this one has been warmed up 20 laps or so okay so what that led me to believe I reached out to some people I asked some questions what that led us to believe and some people that gave me some suggestions what that led them to believe was that I could need to lube the locos so I'm gonna give you an example I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on now all right, little proof positive. And I'm going to talk to you about leaving the comments below and letting me know those three things we talked about just a minute ago. If you're watching this video and you're a returning subscriber, an accomplished modeler, I want to encourage you to leave a comment for myself and anybody who's new that's watching the video below. I need to know, number one, what scale you run in. Number two, if you lube your locos at all or not. And if you don't, why? If you do lube your locos, what type of lube you recommend for that particular scale, as well as what resources somebody in that scale might be able to use on the YouTube site to figure out how to lube their locos and then I'd also like to know how often you lube your locos. Now we're not done so don't go anywhere just because I asked you to comment what I need to do is tell you about what's going to happen now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read below and I'm going to communicate with you guys that comment. I'm going to find out what the best lube per the comments are in my scale, in scale. I'm going to buy that lube. Then I'm going to shoot a video of me dismantling the Kata Locos and lubing them. I'm also going to shoot a video to test the Locos after the fact to see if lubing was the problem. If you have not already, I want to encourage, encourage you to subscribe and click the bell icon. I also want to encourage you to check out the cards that have been flying overhead. I want to thank you for watching with me today and if you did not leave a comment, please leave a comment below. In a cutaway before closing y'all about the anniversary, as I mentioned earlier, today is the one year birthday of the YouTube Model Railroad channel, the Denver and Rio Grande Western Iron Horse route. I'm excited to announce to y'all that I've got an anniversary video coming out on New Year's Eve that's going to highlight the happenings of the channel, not the layout my YouTube channel, the videos I've produced, and we're going to show a sequence and highlight clips from the beginning to the end that's going to be coming out New Year's Eve. I hope you all tune in to watch. One more thing from you. If you haven't already, I need you to click right here or click here or here or here anywhere to stick around. Just stick around.